In this tutorial, we'll see how we can send a print layout to the client directly from Nanox with a button. Now that our management system already has the tables that we need and we have already created a print layout that we can now send as a PDF to the client, we can now create the buttons that we will need to send this email. First, let's create a new image field that will be where we will preview the PDF. In the layout element section, we can create a button for generating the PDF. And a button for sending the email. Okay, first let's assign the formula that we will need to create the PDF. So let's click on the dotted line of the button. And in the on click section, we can insert the formula that we need. In this case, we will need the function import file. So let's go now to the manual and in the function section, we can select the import file function and see how is it supposed to be written. So for now, let's copy this function here and insert it into our formula. The invoice will be our image. So we'll be importing the print layout that we have and inserting it into our image field. The print and save record function will be the one that will bring the PDF from our print layout. So our print layout is called invoice layout. We can see that in our print layout section so it is called invoice layout so here we need to give the same name but if we want to give a specific name to this PDF we can assign the name here so after this print and save record section we can insert the name that we want so let's insert here the invoice and the client's name dot PDF in this way, we will be saving the file as a PDF. If we generate our PDF, we will see that it contains the name of the invoice and the client. Here, we can also download the PDF that we want and open it in our device. But in this case, we want to send it directly to our email with this button. Let's click on the dotted line from this button and in the formula section, we will insert the function send email. To do that, let's go here to the manual and find the send email function. Here we have an example which we can copy and use the syntax in our system. The send email function contains all these parameters that we will use to send our email. So in the from section, we will put the function user email. In the to section, we will put the client email. In this case, we will not use these parameters. And in the subject, we can put here the information that we want. The text must be inserted type double quotes. So we'll put here invoice and let's put client's name here. And for the text, we can put as well the information that we need. So dear, and let's put client. Thank you for your email. In the HTML section, in the HTML section, we can put the same text, but edit it and customize it with all the HTML markups and customizations that the text would require. For the attachment section, we will simply insert the image that we have already generated. Now let's save this function and click OK and save changes. Now we have these two functions and we can use the first button to generate our PDF 
in, so we will be able to preview our document before sending it. And the second button will be for sending the email. In this way, we will be sending this PDF as an attachment in our email. Ninox.